What's up, y'all? In this video, I'm going to show you a simple way or a simple example on transferring data from one character script to another character script using initialization uh, uh, variable data. Okay, so we, you know, in the past uh, videos, you know, I showed you how to um, see uh, initialization system um, variables on the debug window. And I wanted to run a scenario to where when I um, move um, the character to the left, the enemy will start to spin. Okay. So what I wanted to do is have the um, the um, ship when it goes below a hundred on the X axis. I want that enemy to spin around. Now I'm gonna show you how I want the enemy to spin around. So I'm gonna go to task run, go to none, show you a little bit of what I want. I want to rotate, change color, change to red. And then, um, yeah, I think that'll be kind of it. So let me show you real quick how I want it to go. Task run number one. Go to test. Okay, that's what I want to happen. But it should be changing color. I don't know why it's not changing color. I made a make a mistake. Wait, let's go back. I make a mistake. Hmm. Yeah, I wanted to change color. But anyways, anyways, beyond that, beyond that. Um. So what I have to do is, all right, I have a variable local panel. Okay. Transfer to variable zero. System variable, okay. Initialization system variable. Transferring data zero from the local variable. Transfer it to here to number um, zero, which is why you can see that I move, and you see the number move right here. That's the data. Next thing is. When it reaches um, below 100, less than 100, okay, the value of less than 100 on the x axis, I want it to branch to the left, add one value, okay, one value to variable one, and then have variable one transfer data to initialization system variable number one, okay. Not zero, but one. Okay. So as you see right here, take a look at number one is at zero. When I move to the left, we got a value of one over here because I moved below a hundred um, on the x y um, x axis. Okay. So if I want that enemy to spin, what I got to do is I have to create a system uh, variable panel okay initialization um, and it's uh where was it at let me see was it at number one let me do a test again okay number one number one okay so what it's going to do is when it gets that number one value okay I'm going to put in what I want, have it be equal to the variable, and then it will cause the spin from the control task run. All right. Let's see what happens. There we go. It works. And I also displayed the variable right here to show that it received the value of one in the initialization um, system variable. Okay. Let me have it, have you see it again. One nine two, one six two. Under a hundred. Okay. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's uh that's how it works. That's actually pretty cool. Now. 
what if I wanted it to spin back? Why don't we try that? Go to the right. Um, put this over here. Go direction to the right. Um, I would probably have to. I'll keep this right here, but I will need to make another variable condition. Go to paste. Greater than. Copy this. Paste this. But I will need to make it a value of two this time. Okay. I, I hope. <laughs> we'll, we'll see if it works. We'll definitely see if it works. Um, let's see. Create another condition variable value of two. And then... Um, Let's see. Task stop one. Okay. Close it up. All right. Let's see what happens. <laughs> I don't know if this is going to work, but let's see what happens. So. Okay. Oh, because it's already at two. It's already above a um, hundred. Okay. I would probably need to make it above 200. Okay. Okay. Well, let's see. Let's see above 200. Let's see if that'll work. Okay. Now nothing is <laughs> happening. Um, oh, because I made it stop. Oh, of course. Of course. All right. Let's see. Let's try it again. Let's try it again. Okay. Now two. Okay. Let's see what we got over here. Yeah, we wanted it to stop. Hmm. Yeah, initially wanted it to stop. Control task one. Okay, what's going on is not receiving the um Yeah, it's not receiving the the data we may have to set up a label to have things kind of flowing in and out go right here go to none go to none go to out go to none All right, let's see what happens so right here oh wow now nothing is happening <laughs> uh let's try this one one below okay okay nothing is happening hmm okay all right, yeah, it looks like this is not <laughs> this isn't really working for me. Okay. Yeah, th this isn't working. Yeah. Why don't we just keep it the way it was? Oh, oh, wh whoops. Wait. None. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we we got to probably keep it to that. Um But yeah, that that's basically how you do it. Yeah, and play around with it. Like like do what I did and try to play around with like different ways to like use um variable conditions with initialization um uh system variables. But yeah, that's about it. Peace.